Hello, it is Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday puzzle today, so we should have a relatively approachable puzzle with a nice approachable theme. I hope that's what we have in store for us today. And this approachable edition of the New York uh, Daily Solve, that is, has been brought to us by Victoria Rojishka, Kathleen Quinn, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster, the invaluable Timothy Mark, and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much for uh, to them, those benefactors, for supporting the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. And if you'd like to join their ranks as a benefactor and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in the link in the description field underneath the video. And of course, if you become a patron at any level, you can get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And thank you to everybody who has done that as well. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of any sort. I do very much appreciate it. And it does keep this whole channel going. It keeps this activity sustainable for me. So thank you for that. And um, you can subscribe to the channel. You should subscribe to the channel one way or the other, patron or not. And uh, like the videos, pass them on to a friend. And you can also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server in a link in the description field underneath the video. And so that's all of that. All of that is available. Thank you to anybody who has participated in any of those things. And let's move on to the puzzle. This is another one of my, uh, I'm short on time again today. I know there's been, a, there have been a few of those recently, but, but today is one. So I'm going to try and do this relatively quickly. It is a Tuesday crossword. It was constructed by Enrique Henestrosa and Guiano, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Oh, sorry. I think just a few crosswords to Enrique's name in the New York Times, small handful, and uh, many more than that, edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Okay. Colombian cornmeal cake. Is that an arepa? Arepa? I think, but I'm not certain. Let's look at the downs. Big kitchen brand. Oh, Amana. That was a, that that came up in the in the puzzle recently as well. Um, frenzied could be manic. Let's put let's put in arepa here and see if it's if it's plausible. Lustrous semi synthetic fabric rayon. Um, rayon has I, I wouldn't say it's crossword ease, but it has come up in the crossword before. Semi synthetic fabric rayon. At least I assume that's the answer. Um, activity tracked by the Nest or My Sun Power app. Uh, I have no idea. Energy something, maybe? Energy use? Yeah, actually, that could be it. That could be it. Energy use. Those, those seem like maybe they would be tracking energy use in your home. Yeah, maybe that's it. What about this? Part of an Instagram feed, an Insta feed. Instagram would be pick. And of course, Insta is in this case, an abbreviation for Instagram. And so uh, we're also abbreviating picture to pick. That's how that works. Affirmative at sea could be I captain. And this is going to be our theme, I suspect. Yes, actually, we, we can see that it's, that it's hi being highlighted by the revealer. So here, our revealer says, enlightening experiences, or what 1826, 41, and 54 across have, phonetically speaking. One, two, three, four. Oh, mm, darn. My, get, my first guess was, oh no, but that's not an enlightening experience, sorry. I just went through a whole thought process and it's wrong. I was thinking, I, Captain, I bet we're going to, I bet these are going to start with I. So I was wondering then maybe what these have phonetically speaking, it's speaking, I was going to say, maybe this because there are four clues, maybe it's four eyes. I don't know what that exactly would mean. And it's not an enlightening experience. So I don't think that's right. But in any case, milieu with tenure tracks, uh, academia. So tenure track professorship at a university, for instance, prepare to be, to prepare to be painted is to pose and like many flights to JFK and LAX. Oh, international, I suppose. Right. Okay. Yes, th those are big international hubs. So that would make sense. And the abbreviation says we're abbreviating it, of course. Dish of stuffed, uh, stuffed grape leaves is dolma. Great, a great, uh, great little dish. I really enjoy a good dolma. I haven't had one in a while, actually. Are you sure about that? Is it, maybe? Hmm. 
could be, or yeah, is it? Are you sure about that? Shade akin to camel. Yes, tan is sort of similar to camel. And same here could be so am I. So, so am I sort of similar to is it in the sense of, um, you know, constructing little common questions out of incredibly uh, common words. City famous for its French quarter, familiarly, uh, New Orleans, New Orleans, uh, N-O-L-A for New Orleans, Louisiana. And blank crest, place for a backpacker's hip belt. Iliac crest? That sounds right. The Iliac crest? I mean, I I can't, (laughs) being honest, I can't tell you that I'm familiar with the Iliac crest, but I believe the the Iliac, that does have, that is something around, around the pelvis. So that would, I think Iliac refers to the pelvis. Uh, So I think that must be the answer. And hit BBC series of 1976, excuse me, uh, this would be I, Claudius, the television program, uh, starring Jacob J- uh, <laughs> Derek Jacoby. I sort of portmanteaued his name there. Uh, Derek Jacoby um, starred as Claudius in I, Claudius. Okay, Wiggle Room. Not sure. Out of Fashion could be dated, maybe? Your clothing could be dated. Prepared for serving as a fancy dish. I don't know. Why can't I see that? What about this? Fine writing paper. Um, Papyrus or, I don't know, some kind of thick stock or... Hmm, not sure offhand. I'll probably be annoyed when I see it. Kindle or Nook is an e-reader. So here we go. Another e-clue. What did we have what did we have yesterday or the day before? E-waste we had, e-reader. I mean, those are both, I think, fairly legitimate. Unlike things like e-zine, which nobody ever says. Home to more than 20% of Nevadans informally. I suppose this will be a, a t- city or town in Nevada, the state. Um, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, temp- no, that's Arizona. I was thinking, yeah. Not sure. I can't can't think. Wear away, erode, to wear something away, to erode it. Buzz up, perhaps, to let somebody in. You could buzz them up to your flat. You could, you know, let them in with the intercom, the sort of intercom lock system. Prepared for serving as a fancy dish. Right, so what is this? I'm still not seeing it. Mob figure portrayed by Travolta in 2018. John Gotti, I suppose? I'm not familiar with, with, with this particular work in which Travolta portrayed him, but I suspect that's the figure based on the film. I bid you adieu, you could say, I bid you goodbye. Uh, Dispatches, oh, oh, I see, dispatches, you uh, you send something, you dispatch it, you send it, so dispatches, sends. Oh, Vegas, right, of course, Las Vegas, Nevada, right, okay, sorry, for a simple, pretty silly oversight, I suppose I wasn't thinking, oh, and it does say informally, doesn't it? I think I completely glossed over the informally bit. So I wasn't thinking about that at all. So yes, Las Vegas, Nevada. And fine, oh, vellum is fine writing paper. Right, okay, yes. And sometimes I think you'll still get, oh, this doesn't look right. Well, we'll get there in a moment. Is this not vellum? Maybe, the, oh, plated, prepared for serving as a fancy dish. Right, okay. So sometimes you'll get sort of important documents and things like that written on vellum because of its uh, kind of historic and archive qualities. Okay, prepared for serving as a fancy dish, plated a fancy dish. And, oh, if something's out of fashion, it's passe, not dated. I mean, it, dated also works, but is not the answer here. Name that's found in mesmerize. So the, the woman's name, Esme, is simply found inside the word mesmerize, as simple as that. Wiggle room. Leg room? I mean, obviously you couldn't repeat room. Not sure. What about this? Arab League country could be Yemen. Oops, and what do we have up here? Twelve parts of a dodecagon. Twelve angles in a dodecagon. Uh, we get that from the fill pretty pretty cleanly, and it sounds right. Spearheaded lead. If you spearheaded an initiative, you led it. And a person who lives next to Yemen could be a Saudi. Someone from, someone from Saudi Arabia. Okay, a bro or sis is a sibling or short uh, sib. As we see, bro and sis are each 
abbreviated from brother and sister, so SIB also will be abbreviated from sibling. Tax organization could be IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, and are we having fun yet, goes goes the question, who I feel if it needs to be asked, maybe the answer is obvious. Uh, busy ones are bees, busy bees, of course, in the common idiom. Was given first billing, starred in a film, for instance, you were given first billing, your name was listed first. The Wizard of Oz pooch, of course, Toto, the dog from The Wizard of Oz. Tiny specks are iotas, little, just the smallest bit of something, not one bit, not one iota. And award-winning Chinese artist and activist, Ai Weiwei, oh, Ai Weiwei, right, I completely forgot about this I thing, it is eyes, okay. I Captain, I Claudius, Ai Weiwei, right, completely forgot about that. Uh, great, okay, so, so it is something around that, so sort of half right, I suppose. Um, what was the other one? Here. Bart, catchphrase on The Simpsons. Oh, I, I Caramba, so that would be a Y, I suppose. Right, okay, so... Eye opening, eye eye openers, eye openers is what the like the experiences are, because the eyes open these theme answers. Eye openers are enlightening experiences, and what eighteen twenty six forty one and fifty four across have phonetically speaking, they phonetically have an eye opener. Very good. Okay, we've we've gotten there in the end. Well, not quite the end, but nearly. Wiggle room is, oops, oops. What am I doing? Not sure. Let's keep going. One attending a one attending a parenting class, maybe a new mom, I suppose. And a barely passing grade would be a C. Band's engagement is a gig. Oh, is this a, is a D a barely passing grade? Twelve part. Oh, what was this one? <laughs> twelve parts of a dodecagon angles and twelve parts of a dodecagon edges. Right. Okay. Twelve angles, twelve edges. There we go. That's that's fun. Okay, wiggle room. Oh, leeway. You have some leeway. Yes, there we go. And what was this? Watch brand. That's the end all is omega, of course, because omega is the last Greek letter and often used symbolically to refer to the end. Okay, here we have a New Haven collegian would be a Yale, I suppose, someone who went to Yale, uh, U.S. University located in New Haven, Connecticut. And do nothing state is idleness, right? So you're in a state of doing nothing, you're in a state of idleness. And blank O, not sure what that is, what about this? One supplying strong emotional support, metaphorically, a ro- you're my rock, you're, you're supplying strong emotional support, metaphorically, you might strangely say to somebody. Sign at a takeout counter. I'm not sure, what about this fish oil sort, co- uh, source, cod? Cod, cod liver oil, you hear about that often. It jingles on a janitor's ring, a key. And janitors will often have a big key ring full of keys. Eggs on a sushi roll, uh, a row. And, oh, daddy-o, right? The sort of jazz age era um, phrase, I suppose. Sign at a takeout counter. Order here, you, you could have, yeah. That looks right. What? Jordan Peele's Get Out and Us Evoke. Eeriness or um, tension, terror, I suppose. Lungful, yeah, lungful of air. Okay, it is terror. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. I have seen both of those films <laughs> and his most recent film, um, Nope, I have so I've so speaking of films I have seen, um, all of the ones directed by Jordan Peele. Uh, perched upon a top. Sorry, I'm only saying <laughs> I'm not bragging about that. I'm only saying it because of the, the comment that was made about my never having seen the films in the crossword. Okay, propelled a galley is oared, you rowed. They're balanced against possible rewards, risks and rewards. DreamWorks Ogre is named Shrek. And uh, DreamWorks being the studio that produced the Shrek animated films. And Hart Memorial Trophy Awarder in... And I have seen the original Shrek. I did see that all the way back when it came out. Okay, Hart Memorial Trophy Awarder in brief. Um, the NHL, the National Hockey League, I suppose. And if one uses a coaster, one sort of sleds, sleds down. 
uh, a hill, for instance, coast down it. Figure in fundraising. In re- fundraising. Not sure. First noble gas alphabetically argon, I bet. A, A alphabetically appropriate. Louisiana waterway could be a bayou. That's a nice little uh, I as an I caramba in bayou. Locale for, for gladiators could be an arena. And a figure in fundraising. Right. What is that? Why can't I see it? I still don't. Blank Hendricks, Lady Marmalade Singer. Not sure. Joni, Tony. I'm not sure. Break off to end uh, an engagement, for instance. And a kind of citizenship. You could have dual citizenship if you're a citizen of more than one uh, nation. And oh, a goal would be your figure. I see figure and fundraising. I was thinking of figure, a person who is a fundraiser, for instance. But no, it's a figure as in a number. It's a target, a goal. So Nona Hendricks, Lady Marmalade Singer. All right, there we go. I mean, I have heard that song, uh, at least the recording I presume this is referring to. Okay, comes to realize. I'm not sure. What about this? Bad-tempered and combative ornery is a, a word that means that, I would say. And if one comes to realize something, one learns it. Yes, okay. Blank hot Indiana. Terra hot Indiana. I have seen that. Have seen that city mentioned. Uh, Cher and Sade vocally are altos, meaning they sing in in the range below soprano. And although I mean I suppose there are shades in between them, but the, broadly speaking, the range below soprano. Big kitchen brand is Oster. Um, I have seen that before. And underhanded is CD maybe. Come on, seriously? Ye- oh no, sh- shady. That's much better. CD is not CD. You describe maybe a location, or I don't know. You could describe a person, but it would mean something different than underhanded. I think. In any case, come on, seriously is yeesh. Underhanded is shady, and Magna Carta, the famous English law. So there we go. That was the Tuesday crossword, and I really am. <laughs> I really am running short on time, so I'm going to uh, quickly review our uh, theme here. We have our four I openers. That was very clever. Really enjoyed that. I Captain, I Claudius, I Weiwei, and I Caramba. And um, and there we have it. And I was able to sort of infer a bit of what was going on. I really wish I could have jumped straight to I openers. That would have been, I uh, would have been very pleased about that. But, um, but we got there. Uh, four I's wasn't really anything. <laughs> um, so there we go. That was the, that was the crossword. A nice Tuesday themeless by Enrique Henestrosa and Guiano. And I would I would wager to say, and this will obviously depend on, on every solver individually, but I would say today's, this week's rather, Monday and Tuesday crosswords have maybe just been a shade more difficult than a typical Monday and Tuesday. I don't know. Let me know if you if you um, found that to be the case. That's just a just an instinct I have. I don't know. Again, there's no such thing as a sort of definitive evaluation of that kind of judgment when it comes to crossword difficulty, but let me know. Anyway, that's that for today's Tuesday crossword. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow for the Wednesday crossword, uh, when we should also have a little, little bit of a step up in difficulty. Hope you join me then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care.